have been waiting for this moment. I am so excited for this. I've been thinking about this for some time. I don't even know where to begin with this video, so it might be all over the place. It might not. I just kind of wanted to get in front of the camera and actually record something and hopefully edit something and post something. So before I sat down in front of the camera and I was looking for old printed copies of the book or at least chapters from the book. It's weird. I never really know how to reference them, how to speak about it, what to say about it. And of this, oh, so this might not even make any sense. <laughs> but when did I first write this? See it on here? Oh, 2021 is when I had these printed. This is what I was I used to call the book cover, and I had a folded version somewhere. I want, I'm gonna grab it. So when I say book cover, this is what. It looks like I have videos that explain it a little better I don't know where all the pieces are and I, I have a very limited number of these I think I probably have 48 of them remaining and I have some ideas around what I want to do with what I have remaining but I have new things that I'm creating so last time I sat down with these, which I think was either a year ago, probably a year ago. I went through the chapters and I thought about, okay, well, what changes would I like to make to these? And so this is what I just found. I found the edits and I literally have not even gone through this pile yet. This is all very fresh for me. What prompted, actually it's so many things have prompted this it's which is why i feel like okay this is i need to do it now this is the time for it and i'm really excited about it but even if this is not okay if what i want the outcome i want if the outcome i want doesn't happen doesn't come to fruition this time next month and the next three months or so i'm okay i'm okay with that because i know whatever i do during this period is going to move me forward significantly and I'm excited about that so I tend to do that with a lot of projects I pick them up and I work on them and then uh, if I get inspired to work on something else I go and work on something else or if I just happen to get a little stuck in an area then it, you know I put it down and I go pick up something else and uh, I view all of these projects as investments it's me investing in myself it's me investing in the vision and idea this seed that was planted inside of me I feel like it's for some purpose and I'm just excited that I, I get to follow that so this was the original label I mean you can't see it from here which is okay but it's cool to find these pieces so now the other thing I guess I need to do, oh, I think that's where I left off last time. Last time I was thinking about, oh, I totally remember now. So I have, I wrote edits for all the chapters and I thought, okay, well, what changes would I like to make to them? And I have the edits here and I never went on the computer and actually performed the edits because I wanted someone else to do it for me. I thought at this point I would have a team member or someone coming on board that would be able to help with this. And I don't know, maybe now is that time. Maybe now is that moment. Other things I'm thinking about is, I have a few. There are, there are several things that I've been thinking about regarding this. And one is, okay, I can use what I currently have without making any edits and uh, it's kind of branching off as I'm saying it out loud in my mind. My thoughts are branching into other ways of doing this and my thoughts are a lot faster than the words coming out of my mouth so bear with me. But book clubs. I would love to have this book read and used slash performed uh, in a book club and along those lines I would have the original version used during the book club 
However, I could also have the original version along with the edited version used during the book club and people could sort of decide which they prefer. So it's almost like we're workshopping the book. I like that idea. So I actually came across a brand new book club. Their first meeting, I believe, is this month in August. I think it's like the 20 something. I don't remember, I need to, I need to double check. I came across it a couple days ago. So I wanna reach out to the group and bring this up and be like, hey, this is what I'm doing. And I think that is really cool and they might even be on board for it. I also have a book club that I went to and ultimately I never went back to book club because I don't enjoy the books that they read and I don't want to read any of the books. <laughs> I love hearing about stories and the recaps and that's just more my vibe. So, but I don't know, I think that's probably weird for other people, me showing up to book club having not read any of the book. <laughs> yeah, but I like book club. I literally have no interest in reading a lot of the genres that they read. So that's cool. But I think it'd be fun to participate in book club in this way where you get to read the book and interact with the author at the same time. And I think this is just a really cool book because you don't know this yet. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But so A Cup of Infinite Possibilities. It's a short, savory story. You are the main character and things are always working out for you. I love this. And I kind of want to explain, but at the same time I don't. And that's also the area that has had me, I would say stuck, but that's one of the things I want to workshop during book club is how do I present this? In some ways I haven't really done an explanation because I really wanted the reader to interpret it in their own way and carry it out in their own way and I was really interested in seeing and hearing how they responded to it and what they did to interact with it. I thought it would be really interesting to see the different versions, the different interpretations, the different perspectives. And I think book club would be a really great place to, to do that. So on that note, one of the things that I would really like to accomplish is packaging these chapters. I have these upcycled bags that I've made. I made them in the form of a tea bag. Do I, have? I don't know where it is, but I have pictures of what I had in mind in terms of turning this into a tea bag. And I'm thinking of, what I'm thinking about are the labels for this. And I think I really want to make a stamp, like a rubber stamp that you dab into ink and then on here. But to add a little context or texture or detail, I was thinking, you know, like maybe paper or cloth or I don't know I really don't know yet so I'm excited to figure that out I'm excited to play around with a few things I went online a couple days ago and started designing the the stamp um, plus finding a place to have the stamp made and um, and figuring out okay well what's gonna go on the stamp and what size do I need and yeah so so on that note, the other thing I'm thinking is like, oh man, okay, I need to think about the timeline. So if book club is happening in the next two weeks, I kind of need to prioritize. And so maybe I don't worry about the stamp and all of those things for now. And for now, the most important thing is just getting these chapters. One, do I even have these chapters already printed? I feel like I should have sheets of them or even stacks of them somewhere. So I need to find them. And if not, then I need to find the files and then print the files uh, and then start folding and making everything. What's going on here? There's so many different like stacks of papers and, and uh, things to throw away, things to shred. I'm really excited. So I was actually supposed to go out tonight, but um, no, I really just didn't have the energy to get ready and do all that. Plus I I felt like I needed to do this. Let me just make some progress on this and focus and and then, and then it would revive me. And that's exactly what's happening right now. I'm feeling revived because I'm, I'm doing this. 
or a piece of this, or just at least moving forward in some in some way. And oh, I just feel so good about it. So I don't know yet how to present this to the book club groups, but I love the idea of this, and I would love to get this in the hands of more book clubs. Um, I'm excited to just put it out there and to see what happens. And yeah, so. That is a plan. Also, I have several people that I need to give this to. I have a friend in Colorado and that I want to send this to. Oh my goodness. And on that note, the other thing it's bringing me back to, which of basically all of my projects, they're all related. I basically have a collection and they're all connected. So this book in many ways can be used kind of like a journal. And I have two other journals, and it's making me want to revisit the journals. Oh, damn it. I thought of something. Was it this morning? It was either this morning or yesterday when I was in the bathroom, and I didn't... I, like, a pen and paper wasn't totally accessible, and I was also trying to put my contacts in at the same time, and I was just doing way too much <laughs> all at once. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I remember... If I sat down, I should probably write it down right now, but I think once I'm watching the recording back, I'll be able to sit down and write it down because I have three prompts that I was like, oh yes, I want to make an updated journal based on the previous designs that I have and that would be what I put out, the new version that I put out and I love that. I'm really excited. Could you imagine, imagine if this entire collection, I just sort of revamped it, and, or relaunched it rather, and it became a whole thing. That could really happen. That might actually be happening right now. And also coaching in a sense. So the other thing I thought about with the chapters, because I really want to engage with the readers, and I love the idea of that. I'm not saying it's groundbreaking or I'm the first person to probably do something like this but I think it is I'm gonna say unique for lack of a better word uh, and I think it would be appreciated and it's an experience in itself where you pick something up and you get to speak to the author and you get to ask questions and you get to share your your thoughts your reflection and and you get to engage with the author and it's because it becomes a dialogue not only a dialogue but really a journey it can become whatever whatever it's meant to be whatever will become of it and i'm excited for that i'm just here for that but the this tea bag sort of packaging i make these out of upcycled paper or i'm recycling paper and turn them into these bags i feel like I'm, there's like a mosquito on me but i don't hear a mosquito or it could be a hair. Um, I have a super long hair on my arm. I can't find it right now. I, I forget that it's there. I actually rediscovered it maybe like a week or two ago and I was like, oh, that is so cool. And I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. It's like right here. It's like this long golden hair. <laughs> it's so funny to me. And, uh, and so sometimes I think like, oh, well maybe that's what I'm feeling or I'm just, you know, when you ever, do you ever get that sensation where it's like something's kind of like touching you or just like, you know, like, is it a spider web? Is it like a goat? Like what's happening? And I think it's just, you know, maybe my hair kind of like in the wind. I, I don't know, but I love these bags. I love the sound. I love the texture. Um, I enjoy making them, but I'm really looking forward to having a team to make these and I don't know what that's going to look like. I envision being in a circle or in a room with a few other people and we just have a little party, a little get together, just literally making and packaging things up, just working kind of like on an assembly line. Some people packaging up the tea. The other thing I thought about is if I'm collaborating with a tea or a coffee shop and they can package their own teas or their own coffee. Oh my god, this chai smells so good. I love that. I love the smell of chai. I don't care really for the taste of it. 
But people like chai. And so I was like, alright, you know, like I'm gonna I'm gonna give people something yummy. But I think that would be really, really cool. So yeah, I'm excited for that. This is still recording. Alright, do I have all of them here?